So going back to our icons, favorites, the heart, I guess that is, is your fifth icon. You click there and a favorite column will appear right here. So when you slide this bar down here to the very end, you'll see two extra columns for a total of five that some special features can be viewed in. The first one um, that we clicked on here was favorites and it appeared over here to the end. And these would just be favorite uh, tweets that you want to save and I will show you how to do that shortly. The other column here that's already here is Facebook status. And the way that I set this up and the way that you can do it when you first get on TweetDeck is if you'll click on the Facebook logo here, it will ask you if you would allow TweetDeck to um, access Facebook and your friend status for you and they will automatically put them in a column here for you. So you really don't have to go to Facebook to actually even do that now the way that it's integrated. So uh, let's go back to the other columns. After favorites, you'll see groups. So if you click on groups, you can add a new group. You can give it a name and then be able to choose group members to make up that group and be able to keep a good eye on what your group members are doing on Twitter so that they really don't get lost in all the other uh, friend status updates that are to the all friends column at the far left. Next will be Twitter search. Give that a second. When you click on Twitter search, a box will come up and ask you what you're searching for and put in the words that you want or phrases and then it will take up one of your columns here, one of your two extra columns here at the end and give you those search results that you were asking for. The next column will be TwitScoop. If you click on TwitScoop, a column will come up. And when TwitScoop appears here to the far right, it will just show you some of the buzzwords that are being talked about on TweetDeck right now or Twitter. All right, another column here is 12 seconds. It allows you to record short videos with your webcam and post them right here on TweetDeck for your Twitter followers. It's a lot of fun. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but I did see what it looked like and how it would work, and I think it's a great thing to try. X out there. And then we have Twit Stocks. If you're interested in that, that will come up in one of your columns. I'm not interested in that, so I'm not using that right now. You may. And then I've shown you the last one is your Facebook updates, where if you click that, that will take the place of one of these two columns right now. So you'll spend most of your time in the three columns here, all friends, replies, and direct messages. And so while this continues to update as the tutorial goes on, let's just go over some of the features that you can access just simply by holding your mouse over the avatar. All right, so you have several different choices straight from the avatar, which are always shown, which I think is a great feature. Uh, one of them is reply, with the arrow going to the left. So if you click reply, a box will open up and you can reply directly to this person and tweet back. Also is direct message. We'll start again, go back over here to the envelope. And if you click there, you can direct message. Next is retweet. If you click here, I can retweet his message. No need to type that in or copy and paste. And then we have other actions. All right, for the user, you can add this person to a group that you can follow. Of course, if they're here, you should be following them already. You can unfollow them. You can view their profile or search for them 
when their name or username has been used and it will bring up a column, a search column, over to the far right and you can get to it using the slider bar. Um, these are some new features that just rolled out today. Um, as far as tweets are concerned, for this particular person, uh, you can favorite this tweet, you can email it, and your email box will come up. You can do that. You can translate it if it's in a different language or untranslate. You can mark it as read if you are one of those people that likes to, to um, organize the tweets that you have already looked at and read, or you can delete the tweet entirely, all from the other options box that is right here on the little wheel or whatever this is on the avatar. So also, you can mark it as red simply by clicking on that tiny little dot right beside their username. Now, also at the bottom of each column, there are other features as well. You can filter this column the way that you want it. You can mark them all as seen. You can clear the seen tweets, the ones that you've clicked the little tiny dot by their name. You can clear all of them, and then we've discussed how you can move columns from one place to another. Um, also, it does tell you about the API and the way TweetDeck uses it. All of the um, searches that you do, the status updates, um, clicking on profiles, all of these things, the applications that you use, um, if you use, you know, friendless or uh, tweet later, any of these services takes up API, and you'll only get, you know, a hundred before everything has to stop and reset, and it will tell you the remaining. And at that time, when that happens, Twitter will freeze up, and you'll be able to do a few functions, but not all. So just be aware that that will tell you what's going on. Um, it'll tell you when the next update is, and down here at the bottom right corner, it will tell you the status, so you'll know exactly what's going on at all times. Now, up here in the top right, you have your refresh button, you have your single column view, if it takes too large of a footprint up on your screen, you have the settings tab that we've discussed, and then if you would like to log out. Um, also, one last feature in the settings tab is you can adjust how many tweets that you'll be able to see in your All Friends column. You can change that number here. And under Twitter API, you can tell TweetDeck um, how you want to use the API, the you know, energy that's being you know, sucked out here, you know, what percentage you want to go to the tweets coming in, the replies coming in, how quickly, and then the direct messages. You can set this off here and it gives you a lot of different ways to, customate, to customize uh, TweetDeck for you. So you can save your settings. And uh, notice right now, as we've been recording, the Twitter status down here in the bottom right uh, says, bad gateway, Twitter is down. Things like this happen a lot. So just be aware that it's not you, it's not your computer, it's usually TweetDeck. And I do also want to mention that, oh, we're back up, that when you do click on someone's profile by clicking their name, give that just a little second to come up, sometimes the information here is just not correct. And so, um, for example, if you are one of those that really like to only follow people that are following you, I would not put a lot of stock into the friend, whether it's a yes or no. They're just sometimes incorrect, and you really don't want to unfollow someone because of that. If you like to check on things like that, use other applications or go directly to the source. You know, if you cannot direct message someone, most likely they're not following you. Um, so just to be aware that this is a guide and not always correct. Well, I hope I've been helpful with the new version of TweetDeck uh, 0.25 that has come out today. just has a new features, mostly having to do with Facebook and the amount of memory that TweetDeck was consuming from your computer. All of that has been fixed. Um, I really enjoy using it. It's a very organized way to use Twitter and stay on top of um, Twitter as a social tool and use it in the best possible way. So hopefully I've been helpful. Thank you.